Okay, so welcome back after that break, and uh, welcome to our Titans Corner on this um, segment. We profile some business people, I mean SMEs, people are, who are trying to do something for themselves and for the nation. And this is where we take a look at um, the issues um, that is prevailing in, in their areas of operation. So this morning we have um, the CEO of uh, Blossom Kids Clothing. And she is the person of Hannah Quarte to tell us about his hair outfits as as well as other you know activities or other areas within her jurisdiction that she's going through. What what things that she does and and what are the challenges confronting her? You're welcome to the Titans Corner, Hannah. Thank you. How are you today? I'm blessed. Okay, so tell us uh, what is Blossom Kids Clothing. Blossom Kids Clothing is my clothing line. Okay. So right now I'm known as the kids designer. Wow. <laughs> You're a very big woman. Yes. As a designer for kids. By God's That's grace. Yeah, yes. Sure. Yeah. And I started this about three, four years ago. Okay. But I was doing that on the low side. So it was mostly my adult clients who come and patronize the kids stuff for their children. Mm. But after a while I saw that the demand was growing. So okay. I decided to veer into that area, which actually happened to be a passion. But, you know, there wasn't such a demand for the kids' stuff okay. then. So I decided to work with the adults alongside the whilst kids. I do the kids. But right have now, you abandoned the adults now? And you are special honestly, yeah. I've been sucking them, but they are refusing to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, of course, if, if I want something nice for you to do for me, of course um, I can bring it to uh, Yes, you reject, can. Reject no, reject I them. won't. I okay. won't. Right. But I actually wanted to focus on the kids okay. and expectant moms who okay. hardly find nice stuff because they are pregnant. Mm. And also um, wedding gowns. Wedding gowns? Yes, you do I wedding do. gowns as well? Yes, I do. Wow, I do very nice and beautiful wedding gowns. Mm. Okay. So we could design together mm. or you see something you like. Mm -hmm. We could work around that and give so you So what go dress. into the designs? I mean... Is it by the choice of the clients or anything that actually goes on? Well, the, the kids' clothing is ready to wear. Okay. So I come up with all the designs and I try to restrict myself so I don't have all the designs put in one collection. Mm. So I do it beats, um, let's say every three months, mm. I come up with new sets of designs. Okay. Yeah. All right. So how long have you been doing this? I mean, and about five years now, but I actually launched in fifth May, fifth December last year. Fifth December last yeah. year. Yeah. So okay. most yeah. parents got the stuff for their kids, mm. and you know they actually I really appreciated it because it's not like the everyday thing they see in town. Most of the kids are tired of the same old uh, Western stuff mm. we get for Christmas. And with our introduction of the Friday way and now mommy, daddy and everybody is into African prints, the kids are also interested in getting one. But it's hard getting tailors and seamstresses or designers to actually do these things for them. Mm. Because they actually think, oh, these kids are very small and working yeah. with them is okay. very tiny. But okay. that's where my passion is. Mm. You know, most Indeed. friends say that when I'm supposed to sew the addresses, mm. I rather make time for the kids mm -hmm. more than mm -hmm. them. Well, are really important. Yeah, they are. In the Western world, people have time for their kids. Yeah, I mean, they you do. can see all sorts of things that kids, you know, use, mm -hmm. like, like clothes. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So I don't think um, it's anything wrong at all to, to veer off adults and concentrate on kids. Yeah. But, but what's your your target i mean is it for the high class in society is it for the middle class could you put any person come for your product any person can come for my products mm. because i dare say my products are less expensive than the items out there mm. because for a boys up and down such as the denim and the prints you know oh. it still looks like a western style the foreign wear, yeah, yes it's, but it's well tailored and it was made in ghana Okay. And the fabrics okay. are from GTP. So we buy all the colorful, you know, their new style designs, yeah. mm -hmm. have very colorful designs. And this for one, it's Daviva. And I think I have Woody, 
Okay. So I work with all the uh, fabric manufacturing companies. In These are beautiful Ghana. designs. Thank Do you have specific names for them? Well, I call this my denim collection for the boys mm -hmm. and the girls. I call it the pretty collection. Ah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> the okay. denim dress. Mm -hmm. It's a swelly dress. Mm -hmm. So the kids love it a lot because when they wear it, they can swell around and turn around and have their clothes flying all over the place. So even though it's African print, I make it fun mm. for the kids to enjoy. Okay. I also have the tool dress. This is good for church okay. or a party. Mm -hmm. a so a wedding? Yes. Maybe a wedding. Yes, it mm -hmm. is. So kids can wear this to a wedding mm -hmm. or a party or church mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. And it's a tool dress. Okay. And it even looks like a western dress. Yes. But a different So how, how long would it point? take you to do something like this for, for instance? I mean Honestly, it will take me about an hour. An hour? Yes. I was I think you going to say about two days or three no. days. About an hour. hour, yes. Wow. So it means that you can produce um, larger quantities of yes, these I within can. a short period. Yes, mm. because I, I studied fashion, so I have patterns drafted for each dress and the size. Mm -hmm. So we have various sizes. So we mm -hmm. just cut, we know the routine to sew. And we just go on. Mm. So who are your clients? I mean, uh, do you export some of your products? Or is it basically for the local um, market? Well, we are looking at the uh, the local market for now. But mm -hmm. I have a few people outside who purchase my products. And okay. I think two outside weeks ago outside in UK. In two weeks UK. ago, we had our first UK order. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, US order. Mm. So that usually people... Friends who I know mm. who have kids, they when someone comes down, everybody orders and okay. They, so, they so currently, it's for the individual market, yes, it okay. is. I prophesy that very soon you're going to get a big market. I in see in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> in the because these are nice designs, thank and I've seen you, things like you. this in, in the UK market. Yeah, I've seen I feel blessed yeah, to I have this. It's kind just of beautiful, things. yes. Yeah. Thanks, mm. okay. So, so. Um, what what have you been what have you gone through since you started? I mean, w with this um, line, I mean challenges that you've gone through. Well, um, actually, I guess it all depends on the marketing strategy Strategies. that you adopt. Mm. And with my kind of marketing strategy, mm -hmm. it doesn't. I don't really get to sell every single day, mm -hmm. but I have shows and stuff that I hold. Mm -hmm. Have so many clothes available. Get parents especially my target groups are the Montessori schools okay. I get the parents together organize something like a fun fair okay. or a family time out mm -hmm. because apart from promoting my clothes I also have this passion of getting parents to spend time with their kids okay so with that as they buy things for them they get to Spending have a picnic time. with their kids yeah, that's, yes. that's, beautiful. that's beautiful so I guess we have a show every quarter okay a show when you say a show every quarter a fashion a show a fashion show yeah like the way okay. adults have their shows so specifically for um blossom kids yes the show specifically is specifically for to kids. showcase some of your things yeah okay. but this and i guess 29th mm -hmm. we'll be having a kids fair okay so that wouldn't only be blossom kids but we'll have other exhibitors mm -hmm. who sell books and who have like the schools mm. we have um people who sell toys mm. people who do decor for kids parties so everything will be basically kids okay now there are a lot more you know fashion designers in town especially yeah. around osu where you operate yeah. i mean so how are you able to meet the competition well most of the designers everybody is concentrating on the mummies and the daddies and mm -hmm. the adults mm -hmm. but i decided to carve an inch for myself mm -hmm. in the kids Area. section mm -hmm. since i have that passion and i have that creative ability to do that do you consider any person a threat i mean like a, a competitor of a threat but sometimes competition is good yeah it competition toes. is good it keeps you on your toes exactly. and you mm -hmm. try to do better things all the time and mm -hmm. i've seen a number of people also in that Mm -hmm. area and i think we are getting somewhere mm. okay so what was the 
the, your raw material line i mean how do you apart from the the uh, textiles companies that you mentioned do you actually seek other sources of um, products for your, for your yes some of these dresses like the tool dress mm -hmm. this is a foreign fabric so okay. that so i imported them? stuff yes but i buy them right here okay in accra so I guess some of that and we have lace and all that which mm. is not produced here mm. which mm. i have a problem with because i think if we are able to revamp our industry, industry, textile industry we could do more yes seriously we because my i, I, I guess my whole family is into sewing and fashion mm -hmm. my grandmother my two aunties my mom wow. all of them and an they were band. sewing kids mm, okay but during their time they were doing the first line kind of things they mm. go to first line buy those very huge theater dresses mm -hmm. cut them up and maybe one dress can get three or four dresses, dresses. in okay. and we take them on weekends to Accra to sell mm -hmm. So I guess that's where I had my nurturing of. I guess what you're wearing also came by yes. your own. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful, very beautiful. Thank you. Now tell me, you can't obviously do these things alone by yourself. You have no, other workers. Yes. What's by the grace of God, I have uh, an apprentice and a worker an who help. Apprentice and a worker. Those yes. Three. So three you of us, and we do all these things. Uh, you must be rich because you don't pay so many people, but yet you do a lot of. Well, we we set. try to. Uh, the thing is, I have mm. helped them buy into the vision. Okay. So we work late nights, mm. and we mm. try to what we have to, and I also make sure they are wonderfully rewarded. Wow, I believe your only big challenge will be doing so because um, you can very use, true, you but. <laughs> So how do you overcome that? <laughs> it's a challenge. I expected you to mention it when I asked of the challenges. Yes, obviously. Honestly, it is. Mm -hmm. But I guess with since mine is not by order, mm -hmm. but it is pre-made, like ready to wear, mm -hmm. we we try to manage. Okay. So it only it's actually you becomes a, a problem. Yes, we do. Mm. It actually becomes a problem when somebody doesn't find an attire and mm. would want to order and there's okay. no light. Okay. Then we lose money. Okay, you see. that's quite unfortunate. So where do you hope to be? Um, maybe in the next wow. five years. <laughs> do you want to be in the whole of Ghana? Do you want to go to London, Max and Spencer, for instance? Yeah, in America, for yeah. Instance? Actually, I have a friend who is working that out for me in the U.S. to get wow. me to Macy's? put them... Um, she hasn't told me yet, mm, but is big. yes, I hear that. This is big. I hear it's big <laughs> and Max and Spencer yeah, Max and, and Spencer all that. Big. So Max. I'll take my kids' things mm. to their kids' boutiques mm. over there. And in Ghana here, I am targeting all the mother cares mm -hmm. and all that to mm -hmm. stock mm -hmm. my products. So it wouldn't be I having a shop just for Blossom Kids, mm -hmm. but it will be like the way they import the fo foreign stuff and... Mm -hmm. Distributed in the shops. Okay. That's exactly what I'm targeting. Okay. And but I what about branches in in the country? Yes, too, that's what I mean. It's not going to be like blossom shops around, but okay. going to be sold through the other mother. Outlets, yes, other mother outlets, care. Yes. Outlets and what have you. Because most of them have already built that relationship mm, with yeah, the public and customers. clients already. Uh, so with that, as the as I distribute to them, mm. I am sure the demand for our clothes will go higher. Have you considered patenting your products and trademarking them so that somebody doesn't steal your intellectual <laughs> ability? <laughs> I am not the, sure if that <laughs> works yet. <laughs> It does. You, you should be doing that because you never know. Somebody, you could cover a niche for yourself and then all of a sudden somebody takes that, you know, because these things are beautiful. Yeah, they and, and are. And if you want to go to the international market, you need to trade market. Yes, yes. We, would, we are working mm. on that too. Mm. For the international markets, we are. But you know, in Ghana, you design something and the next moment you see people selling it by the streets. Mm -hmm. That's not where clothes are supposed to be sold. Mm -hmm. But they are all hanging on the streets and dusty and all that. Mm. But I pray with time, people will understand the fact that Whatever they are copying is somebody's intellectual mm -hmm. work, mm -hmm. so they have to also design theirs if they mm -hmm. also want to go somewhere. Wow. Okay, so what, what will be your key performance indicator? I mean, 
when would you see your products and you consider yourself having been very successful? What do you want to really? Um, is it just to go to the market? I mean, uh, uh, international market, and does it, or you really want to make a name for yourself? How do you want uh, Blossom Kids, you know, to be? I actually intend or pray that I actually make a name, not mine, but Blossom Kids. Mm -hmm. That's what I actually intend to promote, mm -hmm. and I want to see kids, both Ghanaian and foreign kids, mm -hmm. interested in. Mm -hmm. my attars and I'd say two weeks ago during the AU AU summit. Uh, yes, yes. Summit, yes. Right? Mm. my products the purchase went very high okay. because most of the parents didn't know about my, prog my product mm -hmm. but through one or two parents who patronized yeah. I, I almost ran out of things mm. and I am glad that people are buying into my concept mm. and i know that very soon blossom kids will be the kids thing when it is christmas wow it's really going to hit the market yeah I, it I, will. I tell you, it's very good and and do you showcase your things sometimes at public events like for instance what you said yes i How do, do um the first time you know i try to be picky when it comes to such events okay so i usually target events that are for kids mm -hmm. like the baby fair and the, there was this program some time ago and um, by e-toys i think kids explosion okay yes that was where i first exhibited and through that i was able to get some headmistresses who i usually do shows for them at their schools mm -hmm. for their kids and that's where we started from. Okay, so what would you? What would be your inspiration to to other people, young people coming up like this? Because you have carved a niche for yourself. You have decided to go into children or kids stuff. Yeah. So what would you be your um, advice to people who are also coming up? Because there are so many people who don't know their way, even though they have talent, yeah. but they can't actually, you know, direct their thoughts to a particular area. What I have to tell them is the first thing to achieving your dreams is to take the first step. First step, as as in conceiving that idea you okay. have. Mm -hmm. Now do a sample of it. Show it to somebody. Mm -hmm. Get somebody who knows better than what you do. For instance, if I wasn't a fashion designer or so myself, mm -hmm. and I had this concept, I would definitely take it to a fashion designer to do a better stuff for me then i can start from there get people okay. interested ask people their views about what they think mm -hmm. that's how i started when i made my first dress i used to actually give it out for free oh to kids at church okay and cousins and all that Why would you and they that? really loved it so you buy the fabrics yourself <laughs> yes i buy the fabrics you myself i guess i'm a very generous okay. person <laughs> you, you, are, you must be <laughs> so i love kids and the bible says that when you bless a child mm. it's it's a great thing so i give kids stuff for mm. free from the beginning and mm. their parents loved it it was actually a bait mm, okay. so when they work okay. for the first time and they get mm. a lot of people applauding them then their parents come back yeah. and say oh make me more dresses for uh, my daughter you know, you're yes. very good strategist, <laughs> marketing strategist yes. you don't kid yourself no i don't oh, you better. <laughs> i will <laughs> say <laughs> you better because but i, I don't guess know. he or she will have a ton of clothes to wear yes, i know i know now let's talk about affordability yeah. i mean this is a beautiful I mean, how affordable are they? They are very affordable. Mm -hmm. For this shorts and top mm -hmm. of this little boy, mm -hmm. it costs only 60 CDs mm. for this. This one is good. Yes, I try to make it affordable so everybody can get one. Mm -hmm. And it is polished cotton with uh, Daviva print. Okay. And they are not very cheap items to use. Mm -hmm. But I try to make sure the prices are moderate enough for everybody to purchase and i know that a uh, foreign brand getting something like this will be about a hundred cds yes i know yes and I'm for sorry. the little girl this is about 50 to 60 cds depending on the size okay you know because mm. i start from age one to eight mm -hmm. yeah so that's okay. about it and it depends this is about 60 and this is about 50. 
it's, it's nice. Yeah. It's very nice. So you basically can buy a lot. If you have 200 CDs, you get yes. four. Yes. And I, I, I wish I have a, a small girl as a, as a child. Yeah, but you have sons, so I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. So, so apart from um, the pricing, I mean, what, what actually goes into your pricing? Is it just the cost of the materials or you actually look at the market to compare, you know, prices before you set yeah, up? Yeah, I compared the first time and I realized mm -hmm. the foreign products out there were too high. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to carve a niche for myself, not only producing stuff that are cheap, but mm -hmm. of good quality. So I don't make it so expensive. I just make sure I am not making a loss mm -hmm. and not selling too high too. Okay. So how do people get to know you or to find out from you? Are yes. you on social network? Are yes, I am. Mm -hmm. We are on Facebook. on Facebook. We are Blossom Kids Clothing. As in K L O D I N. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so visit our page, like us, and sometimes we have free offers. So okay. you participate and you can get a free dress. Free offers. Yeah. Oh, please, uh, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that. Uh, free things are good. Yeah, and well, you can also else? call me on zero two four three four eight nine zero zero eight. Okay. I'll take that again. Zero two four three mm -hmm. four eight nine zero zero eight. Very good. Yeah. Very good. So, have you considered taking offers from like schools to make dresses for schools? These days, schools um, also give out uh, for African wear and uniforms, things like yes, yes. Uniforms in African wear. yes, I have that in my plan. That's my okay. five-year plan, and okay. I intended to train some young people for free. Okay. Because I see most of them have a passion too, but they don't have the help mm -hmm. or s anybody to support them to okay. do their learning. So I have decided to help at least five or six people, okay. teach them how to sew specifically for children. Okay. Then when we increase our number, then we can take mm. more orders, especially the school uniforms. And have you considered moving out of away from children to into other um, maybe in segments in, in future. In yes, future. I also do prints. I, I design fabrics. Oh, okay. Especially institutional fabrics. Okay. For I've done for Cal Bank, CD8 Securities. I've done for Action. I've done for wow. EB Action and uh, Vanguard I'm, I'm privileged. I'm privileged <laughs> talking to you because I didn't know you were so big. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you look so humble. It's by God's so, grace. Yes, it's uh, by God's uh, grace. I really appreciate your Sometimes style. Sometimes when you see where God is taking you, you can mm -hmm. only be humbled. I'll tap into your blessings. I'll tap into it. Amen. Amen. And I have this bracelet too. Mm -hmm. It's for young ladies. Mm -hmm. And it just costs 10 CDs. 10 CDs. Yes. Okay. If you go to Accra, any vendor that sells jewelry, mm -hmm. you can get one. Okay, so and you make these yourself. I'm wearing. You make these yourself. Yes, I made these myself. Oh. It's a print bow tie with beads. Okay. So how do you, do you come up with your innovations? I mean, hmm. do you, people do you just find it hard them? to mm -hmm. believe, mm -hmm. but usually I I get ideas to design when I am worshiping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Right. When my eyes are closed. Wow. Usually I, I, I once told my pastor, why is it I can't concentrate whilst it's worship? It seems mm -hmm. like my mind is always on my it's work and all that. And he told me, when I give God the worship he needs, that's the period that he blesses me with what I also want. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's the period. It, it, it just looks like the designs just run like a screen mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. my eyes. Mm -hmm. And right after it, I just catch. Mm. So with my notes part that I even take to church, mm -hmm. you would find a quotation here in the next page. There are kids drawing <laughs> over there in church. Mm. So that's how I get my inspiration. It's from God. This is very prophetic. Yeah, it is. <laughs> very prophetic and I really like it. Thank you. Know, you. You're doing so well. So would you share with us your final words, maybe what else you want us to know before we go? My final words are that it is about time that we embrace what we have and appreciate it. Mm -hmm. If the Western people appreciate what they have mm -hmm. and we also do, then they would also buy into what we have. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't always have to be us 
taking staff mm -hmm. three and appreciating not only ourselves but teaching our children who we are and where we are coming from and as we teach them through their clothing and all that when they go out they they can find themselves mm. has the attention of any or has any public person like um you know um, government functionary caught the attention of some of your yes um mrs patricia page okay the former the former KM yes yes, yes. Yes, I know her. she did and she's still a client a mm -hmm. wonderful one anytime she travels abroad mm -hmm. she buys all my clothes so she tells me okay now my kids are my nieces are maybe five years now so mm -hmm. i bring as many clothes as i can and she mm -hmm. buys Oh. and keeps introducing more people to me and I really appreciate that. Okay. Beyond that, have they given you maybe um, any uh, hopes of going for a big scale you know, offer or something? Not yet, Not but sure. I pray it comes soon. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for too for having guests. me. Yes. So I hope um, viewers out there will do well to contact you on Blossom Kids Clothing. Maybe you can chip in your Facebook, Facebook address again, your number once more. So okay. Our Facebook page is Blossom Kids Clothing. So you visit us, see a few pictures and like our page. And my phone number is 0243-489-008. I'll take that again. It's 0243-489-008. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank and you this is where we run up on our Titans Corner. I've been speaking with Hannah Corte, CEO of Blossom Kids Clothing.